how would you feel if a grocery store was legally required to donate all of the food that it couldn't sell to the food bank? The grocery store I work at already donates a lot to the local food bank. Many try to donate as much as they can because the company can use the donations as a tax write-off. We also donate to several local schools and group homes. And most all the perishables that can't be donated are collected and composted by a local farm, not trashed. I work for Aldi and we donate 100% of the produce meat we can't sell. We pull every piece of produce if it has the slightest blemish, kind of ridiculous, but at least we're donating it. It actually makes our jobs easier because we just load it up in a shopping cart every day and a group comes and picks it up. Really? I shop at Aldi and I never knew this. I also work at Aldi and can confirm. It technically isn't 100% because we can't donate anything that would be unsafe to sell. Meat that isn't marked with an expiration date for instance can't be donated because we can't prove it's safe for consumption. But if a box of macaroni has the corner smashed then people probably won't buy it so we'll just donate that. I want to stress though that if you return food just because you decided you didn't want it, we have to trash that. It doesn't matter if you claim you never even opened it, we have no way of proving that it wasn't tampered with and into the garbage it goes. The next time you stock up for some big event thinking you can just return the leftovers just remember that you will be wasting a huge amount of food that could be going to hungry people because you're a poor planner. The next time you stock up for some big event thinking you can just return the leftovers people do that? More than yet think. When big storms pass Florida, everyone stocks up on water and supplies just in case, and no one wants to keep the stuff after. It's crazy because they are ridiculously greedy, taking way more than they could ever need, and leaving others with no backup supplies, and then they return the 10 to 20 cases of water and boxes of canned food that they hoarded and fought over, but would never purchase in any other circumstance. Carts upon carts of returned and wasted merchandise from each store that gets returned and trashed. Why the duck do stores take returns for food items because of change of mind? Seems like an easy fix. Think it's less customer service as the other guy said, and more they don't want to be seen denying a sale return tied to a disaster to avoid negative PR that said I agree and duck those people. We should start shaming those people. Username does not check out. That's complicated because the food they can't sell gets taken off the shelves when it's almost expired, and only rarely did other reasons. If this was the law food banks would be inundated with old food that they'd have at best a few days to disperse before throwing it out themselves. Ill bet that a law like this would result in more hassle for food banks than is worth. I would feel enraged. Here's why. I work with a food bank and with grocery stores to pick up their bad food. Grocery stores make a lot of donations. Lots of good usable food goes to the food banks and I pick up what can't go there. I go to the food bank and I pick up what grocery stores donate to them that should have gone in the garbage. There's moldy food and there's expired food that the food bank just has to get rid of. Now you think no big deal just throw it in the trash except in any decent sized city this is literal tons of food every single week that has to get thrown away. Literally thousands of pounds of rotten food that was either donated or went bad before it could be distributed. This isn't just throw it in the trash amount of food. This is we have to make a special trip to the dump amount of food. This costs a charity hundreds if not thousands every single year. Let me tell you who the worst offender here is. Walmart. Walmart will donate almost anything to a food bank so they don't have to pay to get rid of it. I have gone through pallets of rotten food from Walmart. Duck you Walmart. Fuck you. TLDR, it's a bad idea. Thank you for sharing your perspective. It's one of those ideas that sound good on paper but get abused by the worst of the worst. The worst of the worst is Walmart. Where I am they monetize the garbage they can by selling it to pet food companies. The pet food companies won't accept pay for moldy food so they give it to a charity to pay to dispose of. The charity won't turn away the bad food because they don't know it's bad until it gets off the truck. Few you a kick Walmart. There shouldn't be laws to require them, but there could be incentives to encourage it. Most likely though, if a store is going to throw out food then the shelter probably wouldn't take it anyhow. The shelters do have standards they have to meet when it comes to accepting donations. They often discard donated food that has passed its printed expiration date. Edit, grammar hard. This reminds me when I used to go door to door for scouts asking for food donations, canned and boxed food. You can't even believe the shit people would donate. 
old people would constantly give us boxed food that expired in the 50s, like what the duck. We did this, but my unit had to check over the expiration dates ourselves. So to make it fun, we have a competition to see who can find the oldest item. This makes sure that the scouts are actually reading the dates and not just saying it looks good and we get to find really old stuff. The last time we did this we only got something from the early 70s. It is pretty bad that people don't just throw this stuff out when it's a few years after the expiration date, not a few decades. That's a fantastic solution. It works with one of my mantras tell them what they can do, not what they cannot. I worked for one in the UK that used to do this, apparently one of the homeless people got food poisoning and successfully sued them. They stopped doing it after that, I suspect other companies may take similar views. This is pretty much the entire reason why most stores and restaurants don't do this. Most places also have laws in place protecting people that donate food exactly for these reasons. Think it is part of the Good Samaritan laws. These cases won't hold up in court. Edit, this is ATL East in Canada. Great. We throw out too much. Legally required donate pick one. I'm all for donating to the poor, and I wish more people did it. But keep the government out of it please. Well, who is required to do the transportation? That's a lot to throw on the grocer. Had the non-profit going to pick up? Well, they can't make the time, not food is expired. Who is held liable? Also, you often don't know what isn't going to sell until it doesn't sell. It might also change how they reuse foods. For instance the hot deli chicken that doesn't sell is reused for chicken salad. So, did the hot chicken not sell, so it goes donated? Same with the cinnamon buns, often reused to make bread pudding. How does the law see that? What if the place is just flooded with low-quality cakes? Do we really want to serve a needy population old junk food? While the idea is on the surface, fine. Stores aren't generally tossing out perfectly good food. It's a terrible good business model. This regulation would put a lot of undue burdens on the small stores operating with small profit margins. You hit the nail on the head. At the store I work at, there was an accident where way too much baby food was ordered. We tried calling some local food banks if they wanted it. Not one of them would come and get it themselves. It's hard, most volunteers have full-time jobs and not much time for one-off errands in their volunteer time. Used to work at a grocery store, major chain store, in really ghetto part of town. The way customers handled our food, such as opening it, taking a bite, closing the package, and putting it back on the shelf, would make me more inclined to trash leftovers rather than give them away. I had good eyes when scanning the shelves for unsellable things, but it's impossible to catch everything. Have also found dirty diapers stuffed in the very back of shelves or buried in produce displays. Have seen people break the seal on milk to open it and smell it, then put it back on the shelf. Have also seen customers take perishable foods, like meats, decide on the way to check out that they didn't want them and just throw them in random, non-refrigerated, places in the store. Some of that meat, if employee finds it determines it is still cool enough to the touch, goes back in the cold case in the meat department for someone else to buy. But as a customer I would still not buy it if I knew that it had been sitting out. Or want to give it to a food bank. People are pigs. People are pigs. Agreed. Whenever I go grocery shopping I am always finding half-eaten food on the shelves. I hate it when cherries are in season, People just seem to eat them as they shop and spit the pits on the floor shelves displays wherever. Working in a grocery store seriously ruined grocery shopping for me. Two words, logistics accountability. Great. If. The food bank picked it up and provided all labor and equipment the store was protected against all lawsuits resulting from the transportation on consumption of the food. I'm against forcing a company to do it. But companies that do it could get some sort of certification that they do it, like a little logo on their brochures or coupons or whatever. The government forcing companies to do anything is scary. Thinking of my comment a little more, if this certification was a thing, like a little check mark or whatever, I think all grocery stores would strive to meet this just for PR reasons. Imagine being the only grocer to not have this.